Beijing has successfully held three sessions of the Silk Road Youth International Photography Competition. Due to the continuous recurrence of the global epidemic, the organizing committee was caught in a dilemma of whether to suspend or continue the event. Gifton Ramadan, a student at the Indonesian Academy of Arts, had to cancel his project on traditional Indonesian architecture due to the pandemic. Aku rindu untuk kembali berkarya. Aku rindu untuk keluar. Aku rindu untuk menangkap gambar. I'm Santiago Mercadal. I'm from Spain. Now I'm studying in Bilbao. Uh, in the last year, I fell in love with photography. Bilbao was an important port on the Maritime Silk Road. Trade and culture from the east and west converged here. Santiago's project to photograph people in flea markets has been put on hold because of the pandemic. The epidemic has prevented many participants from starting their work as planned, so the organizing committee of the Silk Road National Youth International Photography Competition has decided to change the competition into an exhibition. They will suggest participants pay attention to their homes during the epidemic period, so those who are unable to travel due to the epidemic can start their projects. In an online class, Gifton's teacher shared an invitation from China. The theme of My Home inspired him. Gifton picked up his camera again. He wanted to focus on ordinary people struggling to make a living amid the pandemic around him. Aku ingin mencoba berbagi situasi. Aku ingin kembali berkarya. Tapi di sisi lain, aku juga ingin membantu. Karena bahagia itu milik bersama. Santiago has restarted his portrait photography program. In accordance with the requirements of the Silk Road National Youth International Photography Exhibition. But this time, the shooting was done in a studio instead of outdoors. Eleven-year-old Wu Suyuan from Beijing has been participating in the Silk Road National Youth International Photography Competition since he was eight. As in previous years, he focused on photographing traditional Chinese architecture. He could spend a whole day at the Summer Palace during the COVID-19 shutdown and discovered many angles and lighting effects that had not been photographed before. Relying on the internet, nine experts from different countries reviewed over 70,000 works from more than 20 countries, all online. Works by Gifton, Santiago, and Wu Suyuan were among them. Have you ever seen an elephant from so close? No. This year, my photography work is "Bai Chi Chui Hong Lian." When I suddenly found the Yihuan's long lens, the lighting and the color combination is perfect. The light is shining. So I record it with a camera. The epidemic has changed everyone's lives. But it can't stop people's love for their homes and their desire for self-expression and connection. The pictures taken by these young photographers of people living in countries along the Silk Road clearly portray these shared feelings. Under the shadow of the epidemic, 
hope is never far away and beauty remains as ever. 